Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you guys are watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're all here. Um, today, we are going to start by looking at my slip joint, modern traditional. There are a lot of different names for slip joints. Um, some of them are traditional, some of them are more modern. You know, they kind of run the gamut. Mine are all going to be smutsy but I'm gonna break out my Jack Wolf cloth to keep them cleaned up. And the first one, this is not the first one that came in my collection, I'm just kind of going through it by drawers. This is the Viper Knives Hug. And guys, before I get too far into this, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the channel members. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to anybody who takes the time to come in and preview my knife, my ADC content. Thank you so much. But this is the Viper Knives Hug. Now the Hug is a unique little knife in that it's kind of got this worn cliffy sheep's footy, sheep's footy blade, I guess. You've got an M390 blade made over in Italy. You've got these uh, titanium bolsters, steel spring, really nice micarta handle. And then you've got a walk and talk that works very well got a nice half stop everything stays flush between the half stop and the full open got a little oral on it but yeah these uh, vipers that come from Italy are some of the sharper slip joints again it's modern so maybe but it is seems to be sharper than a lot of my Spokers, my GECs, now I can sharpen those up, but this had not touched anything. And it's just a great little knife, guys. It's a perfect size for me for a slip joint. It's kind of like a gentleman's slip joint. Um, uses modern materials, screwed together. Um, gonna weigh in, call it eight inches with, well, that's centimeters, that's not right. Call it seven and a quarter with a three inch blade two and three quarter inch cutting area a nice four inch spread and just a fantastic little knife so much so I was so impressed with this little viper hug that I picked up another viper and the viper hug comes with this little leather viper slip and then I picked up a matching, in colorway only, Viper Twin, which I really like, guys. I like the look of this knife. It looks a little more modern. It looks a little bit more kind of angry. Um, has a great, great handle. Great comfort. I love the look of the Twin. It's called the Viper Twin. Um, I love the harpoon. I love the absolute sliciness of it. If I could keep my cut going straight. That's cutter air, guys. That's not the knife. Let me see if I've got a snag in there. Not a one. That's just me cutting shitty. There's nothing in that. In that blade. So yeah, this is the Viper um, Twin. So the Viper Twin is a great match to the Viper Hug, I think. And I had to search, I got these at White Mountain Knives. I had to search because these are a little confusing when you go look at them, because you'll see this knife, these two exact knives, with full micarta and a bolster, full micarta and a bolster, or like this, with the bolster on both sides. The price is the same. I just had to look to make sure I was picking out two knives that would kind of match in the overall style, right? I didn't want one with full micarta and a bolster at the top, and then another one with double bolsters. But these are the Viper Twins. Great modern slip joints out of Italy. Joy to carry, joy to handle. Um, I think they're really good knives. Uh, I've enjoyed them. Let's see if I got it in the right case. They get kind of particular about where they sleep. There we go. So moving on, 
we come to a knife I picked up from NAFSAIL. This is a knife that had caught my attention on some of the sites, but I'd never pulled the trigger on it. It was just a little bit high. Um, not high for a slip joint, but just more than I wanted to spend necessarily for this little knife. This is the Lion Steel um, Best Man, I think. Um, I could be wrong on that. It's the... What's that say? I'm going to have to break out my uh, my looking glass. My titanium looking glass. What's that say? That says Lion Steel Haley M390. Is that what that says? Or does that say Italy? Italy M390. I think this is the best man, guys. I think they've got a couple of different uh, variations, and this is kind of the spear point. But carbon fiber, titanium, M390 blade steel, great walk and talk. Not quite as aggressive as the other, but still just a fantastic little knife. Um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, could probably used to be sharpened. No, it's pretty spicy. But it is really a nice little pocket knife. Um, I do carry them in slips, but I don't have to. Um, a lot of people don't carry them in slips. I do, just because I think it's kind of part of the charm. But this is the Lion Steel Best Man. And moving on. And I'm going to break up the slip joint, guys, in two videos. So you'll have this video, and you'll have another video. So this is a knife I picked up early on in my collecting. Of slip joints, and I really like this. This is the MKM Root. These are still available. Very unique knife in that it's made in aluminum, M390, steel backspacer or spring. You've got MKM here. It's an Anzo design, M390. You got the three dots that act as your finger pull. Works very well. And guys, this beast is thin. It's the second thinnest slip joint I've got. An absolute laser beam. And this is kind of the base model of the MKM um, root. They make this knife with uh, titanium liners. They make it with titanium and micarta. Again, I was very early into slip joints, and I'm noticing right now that I'm about to have a pivot fall out. What the fuck? What the hell are you going to gung gung? Don't feel that. Let's see if that's a T10. That's T8. Let's see what we got here. Look how loose that pin was. I think it's coming all the way through. Much better. So yeah, guys, this is the MKM root. I'm going to tighten it just a tiny bit here. Let's go bonk, bonk. Let's see what that does. And I need to lock tight it. But yeah, great little knife, uh, an Anzo design, kind of modern with the materials, with the blade hull, with the blade steel. But it's a little laser beam, small little knife that I think makes for a great, great EDC knife. One of the other things I like about this um, some of my other knives, including the Vipers, is they do come with their proprietary sheath. Um, the MKM is really nice because it's got this magnet, which will keep it in your pocket, or you can flip it back. It's got a magnet on the back, so if you want to carry it kind of like a belt loop, which I don't, I just fold it up and drop it in my pocket. Great little knife. That's the MKM Root. So moving on, we come to one of my favorite first impulse buys. Not my first knife. But a very unique slip joint that I could not pass on. I forgot where I saw the review, but this young fella here is the Max Ace Beetle S. Beetle S, you say. It is a full sized pocket knife, slip joint, titanium teardrop carbon fiber. It has an amazingly Thin blade stock at 78 thousandths 
what is that, 0 0.0785. Behind the edge is even scarier. 0 0.150, 0 0.0150. But this is M390. It's unique. It does have a half stop. And it does have a close. But what it's got is it's got this unique ratcheting several stops along the way. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's got like little ratchet spaces, but if you want to go straight to half stop, you can hear the little clicks. We're fully open. You can. And guys, this knife is a la sliciest one in the bunch. Max Ace Beetle is a winner. You can get it in carbon fiber or in bone. Super, super, super neat knife. I love it because it's not like anything else I had. And when I started collecting slip joints or traditionals, I wasn't looking as much, even though I've got some that you'll see in the next uh, video, where I do have some more traditional style knives. But, you know, I've kind of just gotten into them that they weren't locking and they struck my fancy in some kind of way. And luckily, I kind of breezed through the slip joint fetish where it didn't stick around as long as my fixed blade EDC fetish. Um, so I picked up quite a few feel like I've got a pretty good collection, and I might grab one here or there, but not really going crazy over them. So that's the Max Ace Beetle. We move from there to one of my more recent knives that came up in a trade, and this is a super cool little knife. This is the TRM Atlas. This is one of their first knives, actually their second knife, and it's a slip joint. And it looks from the back like it might not be a slip joint because you don't see the spring. But I can assure you, it's really done neatly. I'm going to take off one scale just to show you. So the spring is built into each of the titanium liners. So if you see right here, you've got a spring on each side. So you've got this spring here, and you've got a matching one right here. So when I go to open this lock, you can see it move. Half stop, comes back in, and then when I go to open it all the way, that locks down. So when I go to close it, it's forcing that spring up, just like a normal spring would, except it's just titanium separated there. Back to half stop, back to full shut. So a really cool little knife that I was never interested in until I had a chance to trade for it, which was just ironic enough that I'd gotten into slip joints when this became available. And it was like a three-way trade. I forget what went out for it, what came in for it, but that's the fun thing about knives. Um, if I can't think of what it was, I must not miss it too bad. But this is a great little slippy. It is super, super easy to open with one hand. It's got a small little TRM 20CV slicey AF blade, as all TRMs are. They've got the best grinds. It's just been a joy of a little knife to carry. It does have a pocket clip. I'm not crazy about the pocket clip. I could take it off, but I just keep it in my uh, little slip here with the pocket clip, just like so. Drop it in my pocket, because it usually rides in my left pocket. And we will continue moving on, guys. So that is the TRM Atlas. Moving on, we come to the first Jack Wolf for my collection. And this is the Jack Wolf Low Drag Jack. The Low Drag Jack is a stone cold, sweet little knife. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. I love the blade shape. I love the thinness of the grind. Whoops. I love the way it cuts. It is an absolute slicing machine. S90V blade steel. And guys, it's got the uh, gold carbon fiber handles, which I really like. 
I don't know if y'all have seen the, Mid the Midnight EDC Fixie, but Jack Wolf has a knife that I'm going to be clamoring for. Don't know quite yet how I'll afford it, but I'm definitely interested in their first fixed blade. I think that is a very cool knife. But um, I actually went to pick up a different knife, and I saw that this knife was still in stock, which is one of the ones that I originally had wanted. I like the blade shape. So instead of buying the one that I went after, I picked up this one. And within a week, I went back and picked up the one that I'd originally set out to get. So this is the Jack Wolf very fine made imported knife. Super, super deep hollow grind. Top of the line fit and finish. Top of the line materials. Just a beautiful, beautiful little cutter. Modern traditional. I'm a huge fan. And that is the Jack Wolf low drag jack. So moving on. <clears throat> excuse me. This is... A 440C stainless steel GEC cutlery knife. It's a red and black linen micarta. I don't know a lot about these knives, but this is the 861121. It is basically their 440C stainless steel classic pocket knife. You've got the red micarta. I love the nickel bolsters. Uh, you've got Titusville, right there where it's made, Great Eastern Cutlery, Practical GEC Knives, and then you've got just that beautiful, I can't stress enough how rich that red micarta is. And this knife, guys, it does not come super, super sharp, but with just a little bit of touch-up on the fine diamond. It's definitely ready to cut fruit, cut through grapes, cut through what you need to cut through it. I love this knife. I was lucky enough to be able to purchase this from Pocket Metal um, when I first got into GECs. And I'm a big fan. I just appreciate the heritage. I appreciate the fact that they're doing it the way that they always did. Almost. And I appreciate the fact that Pocket Metal took the time to educate me on what was different about them. Because guys, I don't get slip joints. I'm not into the lore. I'm learning but not very fast. So this is the knife I'd originally set out for, and these need to be cleaned out. I originally set out for this Feel Good Jack. The Feel Good Jack is a knife that I had wanted ever since I saw it. I thought it was a sexy knife. I love the blade shape. I love the fact that it's a long doctor's knife. It is super, super slicey. It's got a great tip. It has got a wonderful Warncliffe blade that literally the paper runs apart. I mean, it's sharp is an understatement, but then you've got that tip for doing detail cuts. I mean, it is just a little joy. It's very narrow in the hand. I love the pink carbon fiber. S90V again. Just an absolute joy of a knife. Um, I've been a huge fan um, in the Jack Wolf knives, even though I've only picked up two. Um, I really do want to try out the fixed blade. Don't know if it's going to be able to happen. Um, just because I'm not buying knives right now. But at the same time, I think it's really cool, and I love to see them branching out that way. But guys, this is the Jack Wolf Feel Good Jack. Probably my favorite Jack Wolf. The Low Drag Jack's pretty close second, but I think this one's just a little more slicey and fits my hand just a little bit better because it's a little lighter. Moving on, we come to my GEC Northfield UN XLD, the Yellow Rose um, Barlow. This knife is the Smooth Yellow Rose Bone, number 862123. This one is in 1095 carbon steel. It is that nice Barlow blade with that really nice swedge. Just a beautiful knife. I need to get my eraser because I have definitely got some funk starting right there
Bear with me, guys. Just doing a little grind in here. And then I'll wicked wax it. That is not good. It's part of it. All right. Get a little alcohol. And then we will wicked wax that a little bit. But that is the, I guess they call it the Northfield UNXLD Yellow Rose, um, or they call it the 86 21 23. I'm not that well at knowing how they're, how they're named, how they're called. Um, but I do need to work on this tool steel. I need to put some of my canola on this and let it sit. But guys, yes, this is probably my favorite GEC. I love this knife. It is just a little banger. And it is, we'll call it for today... The Northfield UN XLD and Pocket Metal will correct me. He'll probably leave me nasty comments if he watches this. But moving on, we're coming close to the corner of the first run of slip joints. And then we'll get into some different ones next time. But we are now moving over to my QSP traditional pocket knives, C Riser Cutlery custom or i guess you'd call it their signature qsp hedgehog an m390 one of the sickest hollow grinds in the game it's got it's supposed to be a purple carbon fiber it's a little muted but it doesn't bother me this is my second hedgehog the first one was just a regular carbon fiber i ended up giving it away on a friday night flicks but I can tell you this guy is an absolute joy to carry. I was really surprised because my buddy A to Z has a couple of these. And one that he picked up was in titanium. And I'll be darned if that thing's not a little bit thinner than the carbon fiber. Not that that's a good thing or a bad thing. I was just surprised to find it different. But I love this little knife. The QSP Hedgehog is available in a lot of different price points. From QSP, you can get them down as low as $63 in Micarta. And then there are all these different fancy models. But it's a great knife. I can recommend this to anybody for their first slip joint. It was my second, but it's the one I carried the most when I first got them. But I love this Hedgehog. So moving on, we're going to finish with a couple of GECs that are not normal, so to speak. This would be the Great Eastern Cutlery Keychain Nath. So this little guy is your little pin style keychain knife. Um, goes on a wallet, has a nice little, you know, kind of place if you wanted to put it on your keychain. I don't. It's got a great little blade, little small blade, but slicey blade. Fun little knife. I love the stag handle. I love the action. I love the blade. I just find it really cool. And that little tag kind of helps give you a little extra grip. But just for a small, lightweight pocket carry, guys, if you're opening packages, if you're doing really light stuff, you know, cutting grapes, this little knife will do fine. Um, I've got it in a little slip. I'm a big fan. Um, the Great Eastern Cutlery, little keychain knife, the 053121, and sandbar, sandbar stag, I think is what it says. And then lastly, before we get into the next round, this will be round one completing. This one is not, I repeat, this one is not a slip joint. This is the Pioneer Woodland Micarta full-size knife, beautiful knife, um, just gorgeous. 
Got the Pioneer guy on the blade. I think this one is, let's see what we got here. It is the 235120L, because it does have a lock, 1095 carbon steel, and it's got this liner lock, if you will. So it's got super, super heavy pull. Like I have to get over there and get my finger to get it out. But it locks up great. I don't know if you can see that locking up there. So then you've got an actual locking knife. Um, it works very, very well. It's a larger knife, full-size knife, but it is functional. And I enjoy it. It's a, it's a slicer. I'm just cleaning shit off the spring. But yeah, it's a very slicey knife. It's kind of a, I could see how this could replace your, your hunting knife, your skinning knife, if you're a bird hunter, if you're a rabbit hunter. Um, this knife has a lot of utility that you could get out of it because it does have a full-size blade. I want to say that blade is probably going to weigh in or clock in at around three and a half inches. And that's me cutter air, guys. I don't know why. Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to get a little stroppy stroppy. But yeah, it's a full-size knife. When I say full-size, that means to me we're looking at three and a half inch blade, about an eight and a quarter inch knife, right? So it's going to be a little bit bigger. But uh, still, just a great, great great what i consider to be uh just a winner of a knife guys um that is the pioneer gradish and cutlery and then we're going to lay these out here and we will be off to the races if i can get them out don't want to slow us down we've gone too long already a little lunch keychain knife we have got our Austin traditional pocket knife, C. Reisner, QSP Hedgehog. We are coming to our Yellow Rose Barlow. We've got our Jack Wolf Feel Good Jack. We've got a red micarta GEC 86. We've got our low drag jack. So you've got some traditionals, buy some modern traditionals, buy some weird different TRM ones to our ratchet knife, the Max Ace Beetle. I can highly recommend that knife to somebody who wants something cool and slicey. And then we've got a couple of Vipers. I won't throw them both out there because we won't have room. So we'll throw one of our Vipers out there. And then we will finish with our Root. Anzo Root. We also had the Lion Steel and the other... Um, the other Viper. But guys, this is the first part of my slip joint collection. We've got one more video for slip joints that'll probably be a little bit bigger than this one, but it shouldn't take as long. And then we will move on to case four, or I may do fixed blades before case four, um, just to break it up. But we've got a lot to look at. I appreciate y'all's interest. I hope you guys are finding this entertaining. I do ask, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Please choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Till we meet again. Peace.